Whether you're from New York or Tampa, UT students have to be careful when crossing the road, but which city is more dangerous for them? According to the Tampa Bay Times, this year in Tampa, 95 pedestrians have been killed compared to 72 in New York City. Given the disparity of population sizes, there is good reason for UT students to be extra cautious when crossing the road. So there was one time when I was living in Straz where at the crosswalk I heard like all this commotion going on and this girl got hit by a car and it was really scary and she was like laying on the side of the road and then an ambulance came and it was like a whole big deal. At most New York intersections, cars cannot turn right on a red light. This is different than the driving laws here in Tampa where you can turn right on red. A large amount of students at the university are from New York and have to adapt to these new intersection norms and be more aware of their surroundings. Just to be aware that vehicles are coming from everywhere. In New York City, you can't make a right-hand turn on a, on a red light so that you don't have that traffic coming sort of uh, behind you, you know, so you're just looking, you know, left and right. You also here in Florida, you got to look left, right, forward and backwards. <laughs> so always know what's going on around you. As of right now, it is up to UT students to be more aware of oncoming traffic and drivers to be more alert. This is Julia Fulton, UT TV, Spartan News.